Alright, what's up guys? Uh, just missed it and I didn't get a chance to stop, but apparently we just passed the center of Canada. There's uh, some sort of little land, uh, landmark type deal marking the center of Canada. So uh, I guess we must be more than halfway there. Uh, we are 2,279 kilometers into our journey. We are cruising down the highway in Manitoba. Tito's just chilling here. He's been asleep on my lap for the last like hour or so. I think he was getting too hot lying in the sun, so now he's sitting up catching his breath. And we're back. We're driving along through the highways of Manitoba. Tito's just chilling here. He was on my sleep on my lap for the last hour or so, and I think he was getting too hot lying in the sun. So, anyway. Uh, we just passed the, uh, there's a landmark for the center of Canada, so I guess we must be at least halfway there now. What's up guys? So we just left Winnipeg, uh, we are 2,380 kilometers into our journey. Uh, I just want to show you guys, check out this sky right now. That looks pretty cool. Peter's over here just taking a nap, and we're, uh, we're making ground right now. Check in with you guys in a bit. What's up guys? So, it's not raining right now, and it, it looks like it's kind of nice out, but then, if you look, we're driving right into the storm. So, that's pretty crazy. It's completely gray on one side. Everywhere else looks nice. <laughs> See all the marks from Tito's nose. Oh, and here it comes. It's still pretty light. Holy crap, it just got windy as hello. <laughs> Jeez. He's trying to blow me off the road. I'm not envying this truck up here. He's like, <laughs> he's completely tilted. I'm gonna give him some distance. Man, I bet this is the type of shit that blows these whole 18 wheelers over. Or fucking pickup trucks with little cargo trailers like I got. So, we are, uh, we're, we're into it boys. I'm gonna focus on driving. <laughs> I'll check in with you guys in a bit. So, quick check in. I've seen a couple of uh, smart 18 wheeler guys just pull over to the side of the road. <laughs> Me, I'm, uh, I'm driving in the left lane. So, as long as nobody's coming. Uh, I'm not driving super fast. Normally I would advise against that but there's nobody around, and I'm gonna stay over here because then if my ass gets blown to the right, uh, there's still a road to the right of me to save it. Uh, right now, someone's coming, so I'll, I'll give him some room, but I'm, I'm gonna try and use that strategy. Uh, normally, when I'm towing, I'm towing a car, and they're a little more aerodynamic than a large box, so a little bit of a different experience even though it's lighter and it generally tows better uh, now that it is windy as balls up um, it's a uh, it's it's become fun <laughs> uh, that'll that'll uh, keep you awake and keep you focused when your whole trailer starts uh, wagging like quick update Tito has found a new spot and just like that we are driving off into the sunlight in a gentle sun shower but, if you look back there, you will see the epic storm with their crazy rainbow that we just came from. Look at that. It's almost kind of pretty when you're not inside of it. It's not trying to murder you. It's almost like there's like a second... Oh, it's just cloud coming. Wow. So, uh, Manitoba's been fun. <laughs> uh, first I fall on my ass and now, uh, Sky tries to kill me. Okay, another quick update. Sunny, sunglasses required, feels like it should be nice out, but... Sorry for murdering your ears through the windows, but it's pitch black behind us. This is uh, Tito's first time seeing a bunch of cows. He's shaking. <laughs> what are they? What is it, Tito? <laughs> Alright, 
So you got a leash on him. We're, uh, we're gonna go let him say hi. Careful, buddy. Hey, hey, fix your ear. You look silly. You wanna make a good first impression? Whoa. What do you think? What are they? Hey, come say hi. Come say hi. Look! <laughs> hey, come on, come say hi. Hello. Move. <laughs> Why are you gonna scare him away? <laughs> Aw, look at all the baby ones. Alright, what's up guys? So, I decided to take a little detour and check out the uh, Royal Canadian Artillery Museum. And I don't know if this is it, or this is just part of a little installation on your way to check out the museum. Um, That's definitely pretty cool though. So I assume by the signs on the back and front that this uh, is definitely used in Afghanistan, or potentially Iraq. Definitely pretty cool. I've seen a lot of tanks, but they've mostly been you know, like, Second World War type stuff. I haven't seen really anything that would be used in modern stuff. Yeah, so here's a barking too, Tito. So, let's move on. Let's check out some more of these. Oh, and I do see that they have plaques, so next time maybe I'll check that out before I just try to guess what it was used in and what it is. So these are kind of cool. These are some, like... Order looking things. This is a 26 pounder gun. Yeah, this is more like what I've seen, you know, uh, 1940s type stuff. Seeing that was kind of cool. Over here, must be a German tank. We'll, uh, we'll run over there. So you guys will have to wait. Probably speed this part up or something. Run, Tito! Yeah, I wouldn't want to be in battle against uh, a whole bunch of these, or even one. That's terrifying. I would just crush my truck. So, uh, onward we go. I'm gonna go try and find the actual museum. So. Hey guys! Alright, so when I heard uh, Artillery Museum, I had to hazarded a guess that that sounds like it probably has some stuff that's outside. It did not disappoint. So, here we go. We got big ass gun, big ass missile, erect big ass missile, bunch of slightly less big guns that probably shoot uh, rockets. Another big tank and little camo tank. What? It looks like it's like half a tank. <laughs> it's like uh, it's like the E36 compact of tanks. It's a 318 Ti, <laughs> 318 tank. This guy is freaking imposing. All right, I'm uh, I'm gonna show you guys this in case anyone wants to pause the video, and see what all this was. 152 millimeter howitzer, 1967. Show rad system, short range air defense. Oh yeah, that makes sense. This thing, the Honest John. <laughs> the 
nuclear surface to surface. Canada's only land based tackle Canada's only land based tactical nuclear system. Why on earth did Canada need a nuke? <laughs> so guys don't screw with Canada, this guy'll show up and nuke you. It's like the same type of thing on a trailer. Oh, it's the backup round. <laughs> In case the first nuke uh, didn't do the job. And that one. We, we don't get to know about that one. Got some nice skies here today, too. Actually, everything's pretty spread out here. I feel like uh, this is a skateboard around type of place. I'll be right back. Skateboard noise, the surface isn't great, but uh, as you can see, I'm not working very hard. <laughs> I have a, uh, a kibble powered skateboard device. Hold on, Tito. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, let's check some stuff out. Look at this thing. Now that's stance, boys. <laughs> Tito, come on. You think uh, your shit's cambered out? Nah. <laughs> Canada's army has got you. They got you beat, fam. <laughs> Look at this. You troll it on the fly. Damn. <laughs> Alright, what's this thing? We got a. Uh... Oh! I think this is that crazy uh, crowd control device. It's um, a low frequency radio something. It uh, it basically just makes it super hot and super uncomfortable to be in that spot. I think it's like one of those less than lethal crowd uh, control devices. Let's find out if I was right. No, I was absolutely wrong. It is a radar. <laughs> but look at that thing. Stancy boy over there. Alright, <laughs> go grab my skateboard and we'll see the next spot. And off we go. Tito is on full cross mode. Come on! Come on! Alright, alright. Pause, Tito. Go run around, piss on some stuff. So, we got this thing. I assume the legs like squat down and it can like be a quadrupod. Um, then we got this fuel tank trailer, antenna hauler trailer. Let's see if I can get any of these right. <laughs> um, oh freak, I'm not even gonna guess this thing. It's like, it's like a big, uh, oh jeez. Uh, it looks like a radiator. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. Alright, I'm not even going to try. It's a M33, M242 trailer. Fire control component of the anti-aircraft fire control system used in Canada and other NATO countries in the 1950s. So... It's a radar receiver system. And this, I'm pretty sure I can guess, is a trailer box thing. Maintenance van. It's a van? I wouldn't call that a van. I would think vans need to have an engine, do they not? But I would think of a van as its own vehicle. Alright, what do we got here? Besides, nice sunset. That's good timing. This seems like a nice place to be. Big wide open deserted spot even though it's you get a bit of an eerie feeling walking on or driving onto these military bases because you get a bunch of signs like oh this is a strictly controlled area and if you uh if you do anything wrong the military police are going to come and court martial your ass all right radar number four more radar stuff there's a lot of radar stuff here that like no offense canada why do we think this is interesting? I mean, 
I guess, why not? But, like, you don't have some more cool tanks and some other shit. Um, I guess it's uh, the aviation guys who get all the cool stuff. Or this is just back in the 50s and stuff. More radar, number three, accurate position finder. Cool. <laughs> Alright, what, what else you got for me here? Uh, Artillery Museum. We got a bunch of guns. I don't know what I expected. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one's called the Can 1 Canone. <laughs> Canone. <laughs> um, yep. It's a counter bombardment cost defense weapon. Uh, I see a few more things over here. I guess I'll check it out. That's one cool thing uh, out here where it's just super, super flat. Uh, it's just like 360 degree skylines. So, um, we have Mr. Longboy here. Uh, yep. What's, is that the sight on top? No. Hey, Tito, stay close. Huh. It's like a rail gun or something? Any, uh, there's, of course, the one that I'm kind of confident on. There's no, uh, <laughs> no signs to tell me if I'm right or wrong. Tito, hey, where do you think you're going? Come here. Let me take that leash off you. All right. I think uh, Tito is bored of the tank, so I think we'll let him do some dog stuff. Hey. Oh, oh, there are things here. Transport wagon, uh-huh. Railgun, railgun. <laughs> oh, oh, we already looked at this one. It's called a canone. Anti-tank round. Eh, win some, you lose some, or in my case, win absolutely none and lose all of them. And we're back. So, drop it. Drop. I haven't really shown you guys his fetch skills on camera yet. Aw. Oh, he can run a lot faster. Or, he's got some mad catching skills too. Check this out. Hey, drop. Boy. Sit. Wait. Ready? Good boy. You're just showing off now, buddy. Wonder how many you can do before he drops one. <laughs> oh! Not quite, buddy. I think you're on for one. Oh, threw it back to me.
Yep. <laughs> hey, drop. You having fun? Alright. He just wants to hold on to it for a bit. That works. Alright, let's go check out the last of these guns and then uh, power on hit the road. Almost like a giant drone. Alright, what is this? I guess it just holds a bunch of rockets. It's a rocket launcher. Oh, I guess, yeah, all, all it really has to do is hold it, maybe ignite them. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Alright. So we got this one. That's kind of neat. You can kind of imagine how this one would like fold up. That probably like goes all the way over that part or this part flips all the way back. I don't know why I feel like I can show you guys what I'm doing by moving the entire camera. I'll, uh, I'll try not to do that. New to vlogging. All right, what's next? Quick firing 4.7 inch Mark IV. Oh, it's a Mark IV. It means it's worth a lot more now. Wooden wheels. Damn. <laughs> Look at that. That's something you don't see every day. And the brake system. The brakes are on the outside. Whoa. That's cool. This one's got some slightly more modern wheels. <laughs> A Feldo Beats. 16. Ooh. This one's got some cool colors. Feld Cannon. Field Cannon. No recoil system. Gun with shield. And one last gun. So. It was, uh. Pretty much what I expected. It was worth the 10 minute detour to uh, come check all these out. Um, oh, there's a bunch more little like turret things. All right, let's check out the turrets. Oh no, did you lose your ball? You little buggy. All right, we gotta backtrack and find his ball. And we're back. Tito found his ball. Uh, I'm here, I found a little thing that I'm wanting to skateboard on. I'm a large child, I can't help it. So I'm going to actually try and take you with me on this attempt, if Tito can stay out of the way. Tito, you going to let me do this? Alright, back up, back up, back up. Oh! Not quite. Alright. This, this, this time I'll do it. I had to make sure Tito wasn't going to run in the way. That's my excuse, I'm sticking with it. Alright. Although it was like the tiniest gap ever. So, uh, with that, I think that's enough uh, before we get court martialed. I'm out of here. Checking with you guys soon. I almost forgot about this last set of guns over here. So, we got anti tank gun, other anti tank gun, more pointy anti tank gun. We got off road anti tank gun with bigger shield. Hold on, let's just look at this shield and appreciate <laughs> for just a moment how safe the guy must feel. He's got both sides of his head completely covered. Like, nothing can hurt him. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we got wavy shield. And then we got cannon with cylinder thing in it. What's, uh, what's this thing? Alright, then we got <laughs> the light gishits. Light gishits. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. That one's a wavy side boy. This is wavy all around. Ooh, I like this one. 
This one's got aesthetic. I wonder what the, uh, that's got to serve a purpose. There's no way they just, like, made it all wavy like that just to look cool. Hey, you want me to do something with your ball? Do you? Do you? Are you taking a on a stick? All right, ready? All right, and while he's off doing that, we will check out these last two. So we got Quadruple Gun Boy with uh, <laughs> uh, a half cage, a little anti-roll bar over there. Um, that's pretty cool. I wanted to, uh, to be honest, I wanted to comment on this, but I didn't know the name of it. So I didn't want to seem stupid, so I just didn't say anything. But maybe if anyone knows, they can tell me what that uh that is like the secondary ventilated tube that's around the main barrel of a gun. So, and then we got this guy, which looks pretty cool up against the sky right now. Oh man, I really want to sit in it. It's outside. I'm doing it, guys. Oh, we're in it. We are in it, boys. Wow. I can only imagine. I wonder how many people sign up for the army just to, like, play with shit like this. <laughs> like, it couldn't be comfortable, but you gotta feel like a badass. It's like, just firing around from the sky, knowing you're raining hellfire down on uh, <laughs> whatever they tell you to blow up. Um, so, Dito, don't eat grass. Hey, go get your ball. It's time to say goodbye to the Artillery Museum. Park. Look at this. There's a spine and a, a very high box. What? And two quarter pipes that are on skids. What? What are they doing? <laughs> oh, I guess maybe they're like gonna build a half pipe and just like aren't there yet. That's disappointing to say the least. Quite a bump getting on there. How's the coping? Ooh, you love to see that, don't you? I almost want to come here with my, <laughs> my screwdriver and fix some shit, but I'm in trouble. Um, yeah, uh, I'm a, I'm a little less excited than I was running over here, to be perfectly honest. But I'm gonna try and go over the spine. I haven't gone over a spine in so many years uh, holding the camera. So Tito's probably gonna chase me and try and murder me while I do it. Tito, out of the way. All right, let's do it. Oh God. That is a real big bump to get on. It'd be real nice if you had a way to get speed for this thing. Or it's, I had some better bearings. Whoa, <laughs> you got the awful space shot there. Um, all right, let's try this again. <laughs> Just like running full speed just to try and make it over this thing. What is the point? All right. Let's see. I'm going to try and hold it with my left hand. Tito, you got to be out of my way. I get. Oh, come on. Other side. There we go. Why don't you come over this spine too? Why are you trying to chase my skateboard? You never do this. Cause I don't have a leash. He's like, I want to pull you. You don't have enough speed. I got, I got you. <laughs> Just put a leash on me. We'll do this. All right, I'm gonna try the other way. Oh, I think I have more run out. I don't know why I didn't think of this. All right. 
I do probably have more run up, but I still really gotta send it for running. Tito, chill out, buddy. You got the zoomies. Alright, alright. There we go. Hey! I almost ran my dog over. Tito, you normally know better. You normally know better. You know to stay out of the way. This thing is so high. There was a time when I was younger when I could jump onto this thing. Oh god. I mean, I could probably no slide it. Uh, but yeah, that's probably the limit of it. Let's see if I can no slide. Let's see if I can set the camera up and do a no slide. I can't even stand up here. So, I messed around on the spine a little bit. Really couldn't get enough speed to really do anything. It wasn't particularly fun. The surface is kind of shit and the, the bump going onto it is ridiculous. I feel I feel for you if this is your park and hopefully this half pipe turns into something good. But uh, maybe I can be the first one to try it and try and avoid that giant hole. Oh, the coping feels nice on this. Apart from being skinny as fuck, it's gonna be cool. Tito, you gotta move out of the way. I think I scared him. Alright, let's try and not die here. Whoa. Almost missed and not die for Alright, and with that, I'm gonna say goodbye to this, um, uh, skate park. So, onward and upward on the road again. Let's go, Tito. What do you think? All right. All right guys, quick stop over here. Get some Boston pizza. So, Tito's gonna eat some food, drink some water too. Okay. Get some more water. I uh, may or I may not have drove away with his other food and water bowl on the ground, so we may do, don't we? <laughs> don't we? I think he's sad enough. I got that little light on him because he's all black and it's hard to keep track of, but anyway, we're uh, going to chill here and then we'll be on the road again. I don't know how much more we'll see because it's nighttime. Hey, Tito! Always trying to run away. Whenever I start vlogging, every time he always wants to run away. So, I'm, uh, I'm not sure if we're necessarily going to uh, see too much more because I might just power through the night and uh, make it there in the morning because we've only got, I think, like 11 hours to go. So, it's been a trip. I'm just trying to find some decent lighting. Um, there. Oh, the undershot. Anyway, enough of that. I will check in with you guys in the next spot. There's a fucking coyote. off. Rah! What the f Oh my god, you get stuck.